new y'all so we are currently in vermont i believe we're still in vermont we're driving back to connecticut so basically i'll just recap this entire trip so maybe was it tuesday it was probably tuesday night around 9 p.m uh one of our guys that we know and he's I'll tell you about, you know, kind of how we know him a little later. He texts us, he's like, yo, we're having a wine night, you know, get together a lot of online entrepreneurs, e-com guys, agency guys, you know, just guys doing well in the online space, big meetup, my my penthouse, you know, we're, we're all, uh, you know, going to meet up, have a good time, go out after, things like that. So we're like, we kind of want to go. So we book a flight last second. Well, I book a flight to Kevin uh, in Connecticut around 9 p.m., 10 p.m., it was pretty late. And my flight the next morning uh, left at six. So I woke up maybe 4 a.m. the next morning. I barely got any of sleep, so super last minute, and hopped on the flight. We met up in Connecticut, and we uh, you know, drove all the way up. And a lot of people may wonder, like, why don't you just fly up, right? Wouldn't it be easier to fly? It'd be faster or whatever, you know, save time. But the thing is, you have to look at the opportunity cost of money, right? And that's one thing that we touched on last night um, with that wine night. Uh, big, big thing I'll tell you about soon. But no, the opportunity cost of money is huge. Our flights would have just been insane because they were super last minute, like literally within hours. And we would have spent like three grand total for normal economy flights not long flights at all just stupid standard stuff and it just it made no sense right like even if you make a lot of money you have to still be smart with your money in order to multiply it right and we said okay we can take that three grand and that can start us that can very well get us a lot of an amazon private label brand that we can build ourselves right we're able to do it cheaper than most people kevin and i right because we have the team we have the the expertise we don't make costly mistakes things like that but still that's a very very good amount of um, amount of a brand that i could start or that we could start so we decided okay instead of spending this three four grand whatever it be on freaking doing flights and then renting a car while we're down there we take a car up it'll be a little cheaper we can work during it right so i have my laptop i might put it up a clip or not but i was on a zoom call with one of our guys who uh works uh, for us and you know we're doing business we're making things happen for the partners and um, you know we're just trying to make things happen no matter what time of the day it is right because you know you still have to be producing even if you're traveling the best you can it's not ideal but you know, by, by us even coming to Montreal I don't even know if I said I was in Montreal but we we're in Montreal and by us even coming here it is genuinely it's it's very good we we got to network a lot we got to do a lot of things you know do some other things film ads things like that but it still adds friction to our operation right but we got to work and we got to save the money and that money we're going to invest it into an amazon private label brand so you know if you don't know we basically all we make all of our money through amazon private label we have our own brands you know many many different products we were just at customs so like oh what do you sell online they're grilling us we're like we're like we sell everything online we have a brand in every single space kitchen freaking outdoor supplements we've got you know, we got anything you can name right but uh we can start a brand with that and we can make more money because you got to think about it like okay i can spend freaking extra 10 grand this year on bs that you don't need or you can spend 10 grand launch one or two Amazon brands, and that can print you an extra 100 or 200 grand a year very, very easily. So especially when you're you know, coming up, it's very important you're utilizing your money correctly. You should not be going and buying things that don't produce a return, right? So it's mostly how do you utilize the money, but you know, yeah, we went to, uh, to Montreal for a few days. We thought it was worth it. You know, something we're never scared to invest in is, you know, mentorship, education, developing our knowledge because we know our knowledge is what's holding us back. You know, it's it's simply what we know that is holding us back from, you know, whatever goal we want. You too. Maybe you want to make a million dollars a year. Your knowledge is costing you 
a million dollars a year, right? So you the, the faster you can close that gap on that knowledge, the faster you earn. And the fastest way to do that is typically pay for it. So we're, we're big on investing in mentors and, and things like that. And we invested uh, in a mentor. He's now a partner in our business. Uh, we give, we basically, it was around 15 grand for the mentorship, but it, but it's really paid off huge. It's already paid itself back, you know, very, very well. But he said he was having a wine night last minute. You know, he said it was on Friday. Last night, we're filming this like on Saturday. Uh, dipped there, got there on, you know, Wednesday afternoon. Spent a couple days working up in Montreal, exploring the city, having a good time because, you know, the whole point of entrepreneurship is still to enjoy your life, have freedom, do whatever you want. But, you know, we, at that, uh, you know, the wine party, it was, it was really, really good. Lots, lots of connections made. We met tons of guys in e-com. You know, even if they were in Etsy, some guys did Etsy, some guys did drop shipping, some guys like we were very, very well connected. I'm not going to mention any names, but if you would, if I mentioned names, you would know, you know, who they're connected to. So, it, no matter what niche you're in, you can learn from other people. You know, like we're learning from guys who are doing Etsy. We're like, oh, maybe we should look into digital products, or maybe we should. You know, think about running ads di differently this way or pushing an offer this way. It's just... We got no a fire niche yesterday. Fire niche. We got that uh, dude's mom sells a private label product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we connected with I some... I can't say what it is, but... We, we connected with some uh, guy's mom who sells a private label product on Amazon. And she doesn't we even really know what she's doing, to be honest. And the funny thing is, he, he's like, yeah, she doesn't even run ads. She's making like 15K a month. Yeah, go, 10, 15K a month. She doesn't run ads. She doesn't even sell in America. She sells in Canada only. No ads, just organic. It's crazy. Like, and we're, we're telling him, like, dude, your mom is literally missing out on tens of thousands of dollars a month by not running ads, not pushing this in the United States, things like that. But, you know, you know it's insane. Like, you get to meet so many different people and learn so many different things by paying for knowledge, right? And, and the cool thing about that was, you know, obviously it was a great atmosphere, penthouse, we had a little bit of wine going on, we had, you know, cigars, things like that, nice and uh, dandy, but no, <laughs> I don't know if I'll cut that dandy part out, Yeah, <laughs> maybe, but uh, no, the important part was the people that we were with and, uh, you know, mainly who we got to meet, you know, Kevin, how many people you can get connected with on Instagram last night? 10, 15 at least? 15 at least, yeah. Club promoters, guys in our space, guys who, you know, work with really, really big gurus in our space as well. I mean, it, that's invaluable. You know, you you can't really put a price on that. And, and if you're investing in yourself, it, all it takes is one little nugget of gold. Like, one little thing that can kind of flip the switch. It sounds kind of crazy, but... If you just change one thing, one bottleneck of your business or one bottleneck of your life, it can really change the way things are going. So that's why we find education so valuable and we actually give it away for completely free. So if you don't know, we have a free course. It's labelleveragefreecourse.com. It's a 10 plus hour free course where you can go learn how we start all of our Amazon private label brands for completely free. Uh, you know, there's no cost, nothing associated with it. You might as well go join first link down below. But we give away all the info in there and in these YouTube videos for completely free that we pay for, right? So we spend multi five figures a year and next year we'll probably spend multi six figures a year on mentorship, on seeking greater knowledge, right? Like the whole idea of college is to seek greater knowledge. I don't think college is the greatest focus or application for that nowadays. But if you can direct like who you want to talk about, who you want to learn from, who you want to be like, you can give them money in exchange they give you value and knowledge. It's a no-brainer, right? So, you know, you should never be scared to invest in yourself because the knowledge you have, the, the things you have in your arsenal can never be replaced no matter what the market does. And like guys who, who make tons of money, they know they can, in no, any environment, if they're down on their luck, they can create an offer, they can create a product, or they can make something happen fast and do it again. Because it's just something in your brain. Once you've done it, you know, you can just do it again. So, no, I hope you guys uh, appreciate all the info we give on here because it is truly, it costs us a little money. We don't really see much kickback on it from YouTube. But, uh, no, it, it appreciate it if you
you could subscribe and join the free community. It would mean a lot. But, uh, no, yeah, guys, it was, it was really, really wonderful. I'll share, like, one or two nuggets of gold that I wanted to uh, touch on, just little sauce points that we learned. Um, data is huge. Knowledge, or I'm not, not knowledge, but knowledge of your numbers, right? So knowing your numbers, knowing how your business works is very, very important. I, I see the guys who make tons of money, they're, they know all their numbers. They know... Basically, knowing all of your numbers in your business, no matter what business you run, can tell you exactly where you're messing up, where your bottleneck is, where you need to improve, right? So, I, I can't even give a specific example, but Kevin's uh, cutting up here. We all good. Cars flying sometimes. All good, all good, but um, where was I? I don't even remember. But no, 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 yeah, knowing your numbers, very, very important. You gotta have things tracked, you gotta make sure that you know what's going on in your business because numbers tell the truth. You can't be emotional, you can't get stuck thinking in your brain with your heart. No, you gotta see the numbers on a piece of paper and see, okay, this is not working, we have to fix this, right? I would say number two is, it's all about who you freaking know, bro. Like. Net worth is your net worth. It sounds so cliche, but it's so huge. Like we, the, like I, I'll reiterate it again. The amount of people we met last night, just very, very interesting. Um, you know, gained some great insights with Label Leverage. So we're both wearing the hats. That's our company, Label Leverage. Uh, you know, it's more of a we do done for you Amazon brands. So if you want to invest in something that could create you you know, reoccurring revenue on a monthly basis, basis, pretty much passive without you doing anything. That's kind of what we do. We build brands for people. We are a partner in that as well. So we have the same willingness to win and make it as you do. So if you'd be interested, go to the second link down below, join the wait list. We do have a wait list right now. It does take a lot of work. It's not easy for us, but we make it work and it does really, really well. So we can't take many people on. If you don't have at least 20, 25, 30K, don't even click it. Yeah, yeah, just make that clear. It does cost a lot of money, I'll be real. Um, a lot of money is subjective, but if you don't have 25, 30K ready to invest, liquid, I, just don't click it. But if you don't, it's fine. Go to the free course. You can. It's never a bad day to learn, right? But if you do, go to that second link down below, go apply uh, for the wait list, and we'll talk to you hopefully soon. But uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to update you guys on my life, on what happened here in Montreal. Interesting city. Not a, it's not America, but uh, it's pretty. You know, it's a it's a nice different change of a vibe. Uh, yeah, uh, I forgot to tell you, it was uh, pretty crazy. We were all mobbing behind the, our mentor's Porsche. He has a what model is it? It's a 992 GT3. 992 GT3. So if you car guys out there who know that, you know it's a pretty pretty sick car. So uh, no, yeah, it's kind of like I need a supercar, right? You know, you see that firsthand. You see the, the guys you're learning from and the guys who are really killing it. Just, just wait until they find out. Wait till they find out. I, I'm not gonna say too much, but we've got a few things here at Label Leverage going on regarding cars in the near future. But you know, being around like different status, different just like better it makes you want to do better you know this guy has a crazy two-floor penthouse it's sick amazing view of montreal i mean can't get much better pays multi six figures a year in rent and has a sick car i mean like just seeing that being around that learning from that it's just so valuable and that's why mentorship is so big and give it away for you guys for free so anything we learn we try to try to give in the course the free course and the mentorship the partnerships as well as these youtube videos a little bit but uh yeah guys we're gonna head back i got a long long day ahead of me i got we got driving for about two more hours i got a flight back home to ohio i'll get back around 10 p.m tonight but if you got to get back and keep running the empire keep building the empire so a lot of work to do never work uh, work's never stopping, I should say. But I uh, appreciate y'all watching. Peace.